to another video. In today's video, as you guys can see by the title, we're going to be creating this makeup look right here using the new Morphe and Nikita eyeshadow palette. So I did snag this palette immediately once it came to Ulta. I did not pick up the brush set. You guys already know if you watch my channel. Girl, I don't need any more makeup brushes. So I skipped out on the brushes, but I did get the palette, which I feel like is the star of the collection. So here is what the cover of the eyeshadow palette looks like. I love the fact that it says Nikita right on the cover. Honey, I'm here for it. Even the back of the carton is super cute too. It has a little message from Nikita back there with like a little mini Nikita, which I think is so cute. And then the actual palette is super cool as well. It has like this purple and green design which I thought was freaking stunning and I definitely feel like this screams Nikita. I know a lot of people were expecting like a very neutral eyeshadow palette but I love that she didn't go that route. I love that she brought us a palette like this that has colorful shades. It also has neutral shades and I just love the whole vibe of this palette. I think it is freaking stunning. Also just recently in one of my videos I got a comment asking if I can do a full face of Morphe. Now, I don't have enough products to do a full face of Morphe, but I do have quite a few Morphe products in my collection, so I figured today's video was super fitting for that. So not only are we just using the Nikita palette, we are also using a ton of Morphe products, so I'm using their primer, foundation, even my lip combo today is Morphe, as well as some products from the Madison Beer collection, so super exciting. I hope you guys are excited for today's video, because girl, I am. Before we jump into today's video, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you guys have not already and of course without further ado if you guys would like to see how i created this makeup look right here with the new nikita and morphe palette plus see a ton of morphe products in action then just keep on watching Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started with today's eye look. So, of course, I'm going to prep my eyelids first. I'm using my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor Number 2. I usually dot it all over my lid and then just press it in with a small buffing brush. And then moving on to the palette. Look at how beautiful, you guys. I'm obsessed. So, here's an overview of the inside. And the first color I'm going to be using is that beautiful purple. And this one is called Mama Dragon. And basically what I'm going to do is take that really beautiful purple and I'm just going to first, girl, pat out that eye base one more time because this will crease immediately and you do not want to set those creases in place so I did that quickly and then of course I'm starting off my eye look the way I always do I'm just taking that purple on an M506 brush from Morphe and I'm just packing it on to my crease to basically go ahead and build up the intensity. So the next color I'm gonna be using is this shade right here. It's a super vibrant bright orange, and this one here is called Pussycat. It's a really pretty color, you guys. Honestly, the pigment was incredible, and all I'm doing is taking that same M506 brush, and I'm gonna pack this onto that harsh line that we left from the purple, and this is just gonna basically help to start blending out into that lighter orange color that we're gonna be using. So that's all I'm doing here, and this method, packing on the shadow rather than swiping it back and forth, Girl, it's been my jam. So moving on to the next shade, I'm going to be using the shade Fatale. I believe that's how you pronounce it. If I pronounce it wrong, girl, I apologize, but you guys know which shade I was just pointing at. So I'm going to be using that color on a tiny but fluffy brush. And basically all I'm going to do is just blend out that brighter orange. This is what's going to give you a really beautiful blend. And you guys, when I did this color combo, I was like, girl, where? are you going with this like at first it was looking so horrible but I mean the look ended up coming out so pretty and I really do love it um so now I just went in with some more purple and then more orange and you guys already know once the eye look is basically all laid down and I know exactly where every color is going then I'll go back in and start to build the color to the intensity that I like so moving on to the next color, I'm going to be using the black eyeshadow in the palette. That one is called Nasty. And all I'm going to do is put this on the outer part of the eye because I did want depth. And this is what's going to help make that orange look a little bit muddier, a little bit deeper, a little bit grungier. And I really, really enjoyed this a lot. The only thing I will recommend is keep in mind this is a black eyeshadow. So you can apply it, but you cannot take it off. So definitely take your time. So moving on to cutting the crease, I'm going to be using my Garnier Micellar Water with some Q-tips, of course. And I'm just just going to cut out that crease 
clean up that lid that way we can go in with the P. Louise and Mitchell base and go ahead and cut the crease so I basically did the same thing I do all the time with a cut crease so I kind of fast forwarded through this part because you guys see it all the time moving on to the color that I'm gonna put on my lid I'm gonna be using this really beautiful bright blue this one it says BB boy on the eyeshadow I'm gonna guess that it stands for baby boy not a hundred percent sure but that's the color I'm using so as you guys can see here I started off with the big brush to apply it to get a lot of space that was on the lid and then I'm switching out brushes so now I'm using a smaller brush but as you can see this brush is not small enough to get into that little crevices in between the crease and at the actual eyelid so I went in with this P. Louise brush and it was perfect I can't even express to you guys how important tools are when it comes to doing your makeup if I would have used a bigger brush I definitely would have ruined all that work that I did cutting the crease so make sure that you have the right tools so now I'm going back in with that black eyeshadow and I'm just gonna pack that onto the outer corner I had so much trouble with this you guys trying to mix a black and a blue especially a bright blue girl it was not working but like I said makeup is trial like you have to do trial and error to figure out what's gonna work and I like to kind of think of my own looks and not try to go off of photos and stuff like that just so it's authentic um, so basically you guys can see there's a harsh line there so what I did is I took the shade estrogen which is a really pretty like champagne color it does have shimmer however you don't really see the champagne you just see the glitter so I basically just took that and popped it right in between those two shadows and girl you cannot even tell that there was a harsh line there so that's basically it for the eyes I went ahead and popped on some mascara and some lashes so moving on to the face makeup I'm gonna be using the morphe primer this is their revitalized primer it was very nice I did like it I did think it was nice and hydrating it felt like I was applying almost like a moisturizer to the skin it was very smoothing very nice um, would I recommend it yeah I would moving on to the foundation I'm gonna be using this one from morphe this is their fluidity foundation this foundation has been out for a while but I have never tried it myself you guys first of all I'm very proud of myself because I picked an amazing color and I ordered this online and second the coverage was incredible so I'm using a morphe m439 brush this is the only buffing brush I would use for my foundation I use it all the time you guys the coverage of this foundation is incredible like do you see how beautiful it's blending on the skin I was honestly shocked the only negative thing I have to say about this foundation is that it was super matte like the finish was completely matte would I use it again absolutely um, but like I said it was definitely matte for someone like me who has normal to dry skin so moving on to cream bronzing I just used the Juvia's Place foundation stick very pretty I do enjoy it um, it was the only thing that was close to me that's why I used it but I do kind of like it moving on to the morphe concealer you guys this concealer is so amazing i found so much stuff doing these recent looks that i have been doing with using different products and new products i found so many favorites and this concealer is definitely one of them it's a very liquidy concealer and what i don't like about this is the wand does not pick up a lot of product so you're constantly having to dip back into the tube to get more product um but i can definitely look past this because like i said even though this is a very liquidy concealer you guys the coverage is insane i actually wore this concealer this past week Weekend, I went out to dinner and I took some flash photos and there was no flashback. I was shocked. I was absolutely blown away to be honest you guys because usually my concealer always flashes back in any photo that I take no matter what concealer I'm wearing. So the fact that I finally found one that does not give flashback is incredible. So if you guys are on the hunt for a good concealer, this one is amazing and it's Morphe so it's affordable. So moving on to setting powder, I'm using the Morphe Set and Bake Powder. This one is in translucent. I also wore this powder this past weekend with this concealer. This was the combo that I wore. No flashback, you guys. It was so beautiful. My under eyes were really nice and bright, but not too bright. Everything was really nice and smooth. And even at the end of the night, my under eyes still looked amazing. It looked like I just literally put my makeup on, which I loved. So this powder has been amazing. I have been so obsessed with it. And if you guys are on the market for a good affordable powder, I definitely recommend this one. So to set the rest of my face, I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish this one is in the shade medium and then of course we're gonna move on to some powder bronzer so I'm gonna be using this morphe bronzer right here and I'm gonna be using a light shade first so this shade right here is called mastermind and this color is really pretty I would say if you're my skin tone or even a little bit lighter than I am and you have more of a fair skin tone this would be perfect for you it would be your perfect bronzer
bronzer but I wanted to start off with something a little bit lighter however you guys know I love a bronze moment bronzer is one of my favorite things and girl right now I'm super pale my tan is basically gone so I'm gonna be going in with a deeper shade as well this is the same morphe bronzer just in a different shade this one right here is in the shade originator so these two mixed together are my perfect shade of bronzer I really wish that they had a shade in between these two colors but unfortunately they don't so I did have to mix them to create my perfect shade of bronzer which I don't mind because obviously I do have them both in my collection so moving on to blush I'm gonna be using this palette right here this is from morphe this is the 8m medium vibes complexion palette I usually don't pick up palettes like this because I never use all the shades in the palette but I don't know I just decided to pick it up so I actually mixed the two blushes in this palette and applied it to my cheeks it was very pretty but I did have to build it up it didn't have as much pigment as their blush trios so I will tell you that and then for highlighter I decided to use my lunar beauty highlighter palette um, I haven't used it in a while and it's actually one of my favorites I don't know if you can still get this palette but if you can I'll leave it down below and then of course anytime I put on highlighter I always go back in with my blush brush just to make sure everything is nice and blended and that's basically it for the face so let's go ahead and move back into the lower lash line so as always I'm gonna be using a flat definer brush and the first shade I'm going into is the purple that we used in the crease and I'm basically gonna smudge that super close to my lower lash line and then I went back in with the shade pussycat just to blend out that purple color and then of course the last shade I'm gonna be using or rather the second to last shade is gonna be the shade nasty which is the really nice super pigmented black eyeshadow and then I'm gonna blow everything out with the shade fatale so for my waterline I use the LA Girl Neon Shockwave Eyeliner. I will leave the name to this liner down below because I can't remember off the top of my head the name of the shade. Um, but this color was so beautiful. These are so vibrant and I'm always talking about them. If you guys haven't tried them, definitely give it a go. And then I did just apply some lower lash mascara and that's basically it for the eyes. Let's move into the lips. So first I started off with the Morphe Lip Liner in the shade Sweet Tea. I remember loving this lip liner and I use it in today's video and I don't know how I I feel about it now it's a little bit too light for me I like more of a deeper lip liner so I did go over it with this lip liner this is also from morphe but this one is in the shade bar and this one was perfect this color is beautiful so moving on to the lipstick I'm gonna be using a morphe matte lipstick this one is in the shade honey it was very pretty I did like the color but I wanted a little bit of a lighter lip so I also went in with their morphe liquid lipstick in the shade virgin and this was perfection so I applied a little bit to the center of my lips and then went ahead and blended it out just to make sure everything looks nice and kind of like blends it in and there's not like a super harsh line in between colors and then I wanted a glossy lip I have been so so obsessed with this gloss you guys this is from the madison beer collection with morphe and this one is in the shade of mercury girl i need like two more of these because it is so beautiful so moving on to setting spray i'm also obsessed with this setting spray and this is also from the morphe and madison beer collection i will leave it down below but it's basically a shimmer setting spray i went ahead and dried it down with my fan and that is basically it this makeup look is complete i really hope you guys enjoyed this look i'm so obsessed with it let me know down below what you guys think of it and of the color combo i know it's not your typical color combo but i think it came out so pretty as always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!